hello, hello. I'm so glad you're here. All right, guys, we're back in action. And today we're gonna start with our installment of problems at work. But because I am here to solve your problems, that is my goal in life. So today we're gonna talk about a problem that I hear from a lot of people, especially when I'm speaking about social media and why you really need to have it at work. A lot of people then say, uh, but my millennials are always on social media and I'm kind of getting annoyed. Like how do I limit it to where they're not on social media all the time, but I don't have to be like a communist and ban it all together. Step number one, encourage social media. Flat out say, hey guys, you are so encouraged to use social media at work because it is so important to our world today. Give them ways to use social media that will actually help your company. Like post at least once or twice a week about your experiences at this company. Or have them even take part in running company Instagram or the company Facebook page because then that will allow them to get on social media and fulfill their need for social media, but they're actually posting on your company page and telling the world how awesome your company is. You can have them post stories about an employee that was hired, what their backstory is. Number one, making your employees feel valued. And number two, you're utilizing social media, which is the number one method of communication amongst millennials today. More than 62% of people actually find out about jobs through social media today. So if one of your millennial employees has a very talented or bright friend that you might want to apply to your company, having your millennial employee be able to post about their job and about their company on social media is gonna be a huge positive for getting their friend or their friends to be able to see how awesome your workplace is and get them to apply. Tip number two, ignore it. Instead, focus on the deadlines and the outputs that you need from them each day. If you're giving them a full day's work, maybe they're not completing all of it in the time that you had hoped that they would, you should confront them and say, hey, why didn't you get this done? And then maybe they'll start to think about the fact that they're using social media too much. If they are getting it done and you still think they're using social media too much, then maybe it's not actually getting in the way of their work at all and it's just used as a quick five minute brain break every now and then. Sometimes I hear from my friends a lot in one day on social media, and it's because they don't have enough to do at work that day. If your employees happen to be using social media a lot one day, but maybe not as much the next, it's probably because they don't feel like they have enough work that day. Tip number three, invoke peer pressure. You know millennials care a lot about what people think of them. We're always looking for those likes, comments on Facebook and Instagram, double tap hearts, getting feedback from our friends on social media. If we're getting feedback from our coworkers, like, dude, you're always on Snapchat. Oh my gosh, that's the 17th selfie you've taken today. Maybe that'll start to get us to think, hey, a lot of people seem to be commenting on my social media use. Maybe I should kind of keep it on the DL, on the DL, on the, on the DL. Peer pressure is actually a pretty common way that people are dealing with this and it's actually working. And I think the best tip of all is to, rather than restrict or completely ban social media usage at work, just set some guidelines that should govern the way that social media is used at work. Some companies have even started setting aside designated social media breaks and it's like two or three breaks throughout the day that are 10, 15 minutes for employees to actually just browse their social media. It's actually been found that access to social media increases productivity at work. Social media increases productivity at work. And if they know that they have that freedom, that actually makes us feel more empowered and more positively about our workplaces. This is just a really crucial tip for a lot of people to understand when they're looking to retain and keep their employees around. Restricting them from something that's part of our lives now is not gonna do the job. Thanks for tuning in to the problem and solution edition of Generation What What Worked. And if you guys have any specific problems that you would like to talk through or to discuss on this channel or otherwise, please reach out to me or please leave, just leave a comment below. And this will be the last video for about a week or two because I'm headed out of the country. Please follow along and share this channel with everyone you know and I will be the happiest person ever. Thanks for watching Generation What and we are out.